can see, this is the vase model, and these are the vase photos. Now, open the aerial 3D mapping, click the flow to load project, choose open project with flow. Usually, for beginners, we can directly choose the template file, then create a new project folder and name it Select that folder. Process data and result models are automatically saved and can be reloaded at any time. You can check them in that folder. Click the mesh source data in the flowchart. Choose the high poly vase model to import. Then click Transform. There are shortcuts in the lower left corner of the window. The center point and position of the model can be adjusted. Press C to zero the center point. After adjusting the position, click Apply. Now click Simplify Mesh. Set mesh size you want to output. Output about 300,000 faces of the main mesh. Then generate its UV. Generally, the default settings can be directly used. This is the mid mesh. The mid mesh will be automatically exported to the local. Then click Transform UV. This step will transfer the main mesh UV to the high poly mesh. The high poly mesh will also be automatically exported to the local. Now click Photo Cap to create the photo gallery and name it. Then import the vase photos. Photos may not be grouped if they were collected in accordance with photogrammetry. If it doesn't meet the requirement and the structure is simple, it's necessary to divide it into multiple groups of photo gallery. For vase, we need to create two photo galleries. After importing, click Detect Main Body and click OK. After opening the Detect Main Body window, left click to mark the main body, right click to mark the background, and then click Propagation. It will detect the main body for all the photos. Then click Play to check the result. and click Save. Then check the results by clicking Show Main Body Only. Once you make sure the result is good, click the Relative Orientation. The default parameters are unchanged. The camera and the sparse point cloud data are automatically generated in accordance with the spatial sequence. You can change the camera scale here. Now click Clip to crop the excess point cloud. We can hide the cameras. Press space to start and pause the cropping.
Then click SOR filter to remove redundant point clouds. After that, click Absolute Orientation. Roughly match the model to the photo position. Click the structure register so that the model is basically aligned with the photos. You can click it multiple times. After processing, if the point cloud is not on the outer surface of the model, you can click the translation or rotation to adjust. Then, do the absolute orientation again. After doing so, you can click the Find Registration so that the model is fully registered with the point cloud. Also, you can back to the absolute orientation to check if the model is coincident with the photo position. If there is any deviation, you can use the translation and rotation to adjust and do the process again. If the point cloud is attached to the outer surface of the object, you need to click Save Registered Photo Album. Now, click the Texturing Mesh. Select the Photo Gallery 1 to map the texture. After Automatic Texture Processing, you need to manually edit the scene, replace flared areas or distorted textures. You can also see the shortcuts in the lower left corner of the window. After that, you can click Uniform Texture and save it. Now, 
you can see the bottom of the vase is still not mapped. We need to go back to the photo cap and create the photo gallery 2. Choose a bottom photo and do the absolute orientation. Find general direction. Click Texture Match to automatically match the feature points of the model and the photo. After matching, click Register and the model will be aligned with the photo. Click the Texturing Mesh and choose Photo Gallery 2. Select Menu in the weighing option, manually texture that single photo. When it's done, click Uniform Texture and save it. Save the registered photo album again. Click the Refine Textures in Photoshop. The Photoshop will be automatically opened. But you need to set plugin path at the first using time. Photoshop will automatically select the area so that it's easier to find the place that needs to be refined. Choose the clone stamp for texture refinement. Remember to and choose aligned option. Save the picture after refinement and return to the Arial 3D mapping. Press Shift to reload texture. You can check the result of refinement. Also, by pressing Out and choose the place where the model needs to be refined. You can do this several times.
the contrast of the texture shade is too big, you can adjust it via the dodge or burn function in Photoshop. Finally, click the Bake Texture in Mammal Set for one-click bake. Before using this function, you need to set Import Materials with Models, otherwise you will see a green high poly mesh like this. After baking, the meat and high poly mesh data will be automatically exported and save to the project directory. This is the model folder. This is the main mesh. And this is the high poly mesh. This is how we set plugin path at the first time.